Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads, or even producing wedding films. I'm not an expert in this field, and this is something I've personally struggled with for the past year or so to get right, but I think I'm basically there, and I want to share a few tips with you which have really helped me out. Let's jump onto the computer and get started. All you need to get started is a video of yourself or someone else talking and a backing track. I choose to get my backing tracks from Soundstripe as they have a vast library of really great tracks that you can license for next to nothing. If you use the link in the video description then you get 15% off of that next to nothing using the promo code CWM15. Let's get into it. I'm going to be using the intro from this very YouTube video as my sample piece of vocal audio and I've already got my backing track underneath it. I'll put a link in the video description to this backing track because I think it's a really cool track. The first thing I want to do is just play it for you so you can hear what it sounds like with no post-processing whatsoever. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads, or even producing wedding films. So you can hear it's quite muddy. You can't really hear my voice very clearly over the backing track and your initial instinct would probably be to either boost the volume of the vocal track or reduce the volume of the backing track and we're going to do that but we're not going to be using the audio mixer we're going to do that in a slightly different way but before we do any of that we're going to eq both the vocal track and the backing track so first of all, I'm going to solo the vocal track. So that's all I'm listening to. I don't want to be listening to both tracks at the same time whilst I'm trying to adjust the EQ of a specific track. Then I'm going to head to the effects panel. It might be in a slightly different place for you depending on the layout of Premiere, but it should be there. If it's not, just head up to window and go down to effects and make sure that's ticked. And we're going to search for EQ. And what we're looking for in here is parametric equalizer. I'm going to drag that onto my vocal track. Something I like to do when I'm working on audio is I'll select my in point at the start of my clip, my out point at the end of my clip, and then press this button, which will just loop this section of audio over and over again. If you don't see that button, then you just want to add it by pressing the little plus button and dragging it down from this menu. Once you've done that, we're going to head over to the edit tool. The first thing I like to do is enable the high pass filter and the low pass filter just to get rid of any unwanted frequencies. My voice isn't going to be very prominent in the low frequencies or the high frequencies, so we're just going to eliminate them to get a clearer vocal track. I've played around with EQ a lot with both my voice and this specific microphone in this position. So I'm going to adjust this EQ and I would just advise that you use it as a guide. It's not going to be exactly the same for your voice, but it will be somewhere close. So have a play with it. Don't just take the settings I give you and apply them to your vocals because that won't work. You need to apply them and then play around with them. Make it sound as good as you can for your voice, not for my voice. So what I'm going to do is just press play and adjust the EQ depending on what I think sounds best. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads, or even producing wedding films. I'm not an expert in this field, and this is something I've personally struggled with for the past year or so to get right, but I think I'm basically there, and I want to share a few tips with you which have really helped me out. Okay, I'm quite happy with how that sounds. So what I'm going to do is just close this down. I'm going to unsolo it and we're going to play it again and see what it sounds like. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads or even producing wedding films. Okay, so a little bit better, but not massively noticeable at this point. The next thing we're going to do is EQ the music. So we're going to grab the simple parametric EQ and we're going to drag that onto our music track. And what we want to do with the music track is basically reduce any of those frequencies that our voice is using so our voice can stand out 
over the music track. So what we're going to do is change the center to 1250. We're going to change the Q to 4. And we're going to change the boost to minus 18. I got this tip from Gerald Undone and these settings seem to work on pretty much any music track that you choose. So thanks Gerald, it works a treat and I'd recommend saving that as a preset. Uh, you can just right click on that and then save it as a preset and then name it whatever you want. I have called mine Music EQ. And then you can see it'll appear under my presets. I've got Chris EQ, Chris EQ, George EQ and Music EQ. That's the one that I use most regularly. But thanks, Gerald. I hope you don't mind me adding this method into this video. Now, if we just press play again, it will have quite a significant difference. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. OK, so pretty good, but we can still do better. The next thing we're going to do is head back up to our effects window and type dynamics and we're going to drag the dynamics tool onto our vocal track and what we're going to do here is add a compressor. So we're just going to click edit on that compressor and we're going to turn the compressor on. What a compressor does is essentially squishes your waveform. It makes the quiet bits louder and the louder bits quieter giving you a nice even volume throughout your audio track. And with a vocal track all I want to do is change the ratio to three. Again, these settings you can kind of copy what I'm doing, but you will have to adjust them slightly for your voice. What we're going to do is just solo that vocal track again. We're going to turn that knob all the way to zero and then we're going to turn it down. And when we start to hear the audio volume dipping, we're going to stop and just turn it back up a little bit. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing. So you can see that we've got a level in here now. So we know that the compressor is kicking in. It is compressing our vocal. So we're just going to turn it back up ever so slightly to minus 25, something like that. So you want to bring that audio level down until you hear that dip and then just add a few decibels back onto it. We're not going to adjust the attack or the release but we are going to adjust the makeup gain and we just want to see our audio peaking at around minus 12 decibels. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads or even producing wedding films. I'm not an expert in this field and this is something I've personally struggled with for the past year or so to get right but I think I'm basically there and I want to share a few tips with you which have really Really help me out. So what we've done is we've compressed that audio track. Our quiet bits are louder, our louder bits are quieter and now that we've done that I think that my voice actually sounds a bit too bassy. So I'm going to go back into my parametric equalizer and I'm just going to play with it a little bit more. Let's jump onto the computer and get started. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a what we're aiming for is a very natural sounding voice. We don't want it to be like a podcast. We just want you to be able to hear clearly what I'm saying. So I think that does sound pretty nice now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unsolo the vocal track and we're just going to press play again on the whole project. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads or even producing wedding films. OK, so we're getting there. We're getting closer and closer with each step that we're taking. And the next thing I want to do is add a compressor to our backing track, because when the music track dips down and goes quieter or louder. We don't want that. We want it to be a consistent volume throughout our video. So we're going to grab that dynamics tool again and we're going to drag it onto our backing track. And then we're going to click edit. We're going to turn on the compressor. We're going to change our ratio from one to three. We're going to solo our backing track. And then we're just going to press play and we're going to listen to it and we're going to bring that threshold down when the volume starts to dip. OK, so we know we're compressing that audio. This will depend on what kind of track you're using. If the volume's the same throughout the whole track, then this isn't really going to make much difference. And then we're going to go down to makeup gain. Again, we're going to leave attack and release. 
and we're just going to bring it up ever so slightly because we are adjusting the volume of this backing track using a compressor and we do want to bring it down slightly but we don't want to use the audio mixer. Somewhere around 4 decibels. So let's unsolo that again and listen to what it sounds like now. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can really make your vocals stand out over a backing track in Premiere Pro. This is great if you're making YouTube videos, recording talking heads, or even producing wedding films. I'm not an expert in this field, and this is something I've personally struggled with for the past year or so to get right, but I think I'm basically there, and I want to share a few tips with you which have really helped me out. Let's jump onto the computer and get started. Okay, I think that sounds really good. I do have a couple of bonus tips for you. The first is get your microphone as close to your face as possible for this to work well. For the past year or so, I've been trying to keep this microphone out of frame to not affect my aesthetic in my YouTube space. But over the past couple of weeks, I've decided stuff that I want really great audio in my video. So I'm going to have my microphone in frame. And this is a compromise you're going to have to make if you want to get the best sounding audio you can. This method will still work if you've got your microphone out of shot, but it'll work a damn sight better if it's in shot. Once you've finished editing and you're happy with your mix on either your really expensive speakers, your cheap speakers, your expensive headphones or your cheap headphones, export it, upload it to YouTube and go and watch it on your phone or watch it on a smart TV and see if you can still hear that music clearly and hear the vocal track clearly. It really does depend what device you're listening on as to how clearly those two things are going to come across. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to say to you today. Hopefully you think this sounds as good as I do and hopefully I've helped you. I wish this video was around when I was looking for this solution. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out more than you could possibly know. And don't forget to head over to Soundstripe and get your 15% off your subscription. And if you're new here, why not head over to my new Facebook group? There's a link in the video description. You can ask me questions, request videos, and just become part of the community. I really look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.